Correction about tick-tock clock here. I was correct about the 12, 3, and 9 with the minute hand, but not about the 6. If the minute, minute hand is on the 6, they'll move at random speeds. So 12 is, uh, 12 is off, 3 is slow, 9 is fast, 6 is random. Anyway, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm gonna want to have some sort of speed in order to get up to the top easier than using wall kicks because I'm doing time jumps on moving bars. And if you recall, I was right next to the star in the last part in that I had the, uh, I mean, I, I had the star in my grasp, but I chose the other star, and I wasn't supposed to get it at that time, so I opted to skip it just for the sake of organization. That was kind of uh, a bad scenario, so to speak, because I ended up taking the wrong path early and burning time, but, man, eh, well, it just, just happens sometimes. Alright, as long as I don't mess up on the uh, random, well not random, the pistons and, you know, just having platforming issues in general, I should be able to get up there relatively easy as you've been seeing me uh, not have all that much trouble with the platforming in this stage in general, so yeah. So, just a lot of waiting around though for the right moment though, unless you're just like right there when you when you need to be there, and then you can just jump right straight for the platform or something. Alright, so we take this path up. This is where it kind of splits off. Uh, left path is other stuff, but this is not path... I mean, that is not the path I want to take. I want to go up here, and... Well, luckily there's a safety net down here. <laughs> this jump isn't that hard, just... Oopsie! I prefer not to go on the moving triangle for obvious reasons. <laughs> so, forgive me if I'm having issues that you might not normally have if you went on the triangle. Alright, I think I should try a double jump. Yeah, double jump. That works a lot better. Okay, these blocks are it, right? Right? I think these blocks are... No, wait, wait, wait are they it? Um, wait, how do I get... Because that's where the star is. You've seen it inside that cage. Let's just get on top of this and see how things go from there, I suppose. Because I think this was the, the path that led me to that star, actually. Like if I go... Yeah, if I long jump to that, this will give me... Uh, oh, coins. I thought that was going to give me a one-up. Over here is... Oh, I was supposed to get it from underneath. Oh, poopers. Poopers, scoopers. Well, I can land on uh, this one and just kind of like... Yeah. <laughs> and there's a star. That's not the way they intended it, but eh, well, it worked. <laughs> Time jumps on moving bars, just as it said. I should have known that those are the moving bars they were talking about when they said that. Alright, for this next star, you want to stop the clock, and I think I got it there. Hopefully. Because it is stop time for red coins, like quite literally. Is everything stopped? Yes, everything is stopped, and if you go up to the higher levels, it makes platforming a lot harder. But, uh, because you have to use the uh, wall kicks, but right now, no, it's, it's fine, because the thing that I want to do is get those red coins. And this star is ridiculously easy <laughs> when everything is stopped. Otherwise, you would have to probably jump down from above. Um, like, if you don't know the layout of this level, if you look above, there is that cage with the heave-ho above it, and what you could do is just jump down on the red coins, but you're pl basically playing... Plinko if you do it that way because you're, you're trying to jump where you know when these bars are on when these platforms are in the correct places and yeah <laughs> you could try going up with these bars using some really well-timed jumps but I wouldn't count on it personally and the star it whoops it astoundingly appears whoa 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 what the heck happened there <laughs> See, the, the shadow star is down here, as you noticed earlier, but the, the gold star appears way, way, way up there. So, well, it's just a regular star, not just a gold star, but yeah. You, you get what I'm saying here. It's it, it appears higher than the shadow star would indicate. Well, seriously, now I'm having trouble platforming this. Oh, and this heart is what makes the level so easy. 
because you can always, always jump on top. I mean, you can always fall from above when you're at full health, because you'll never lose more than four health that way, and uh, you can just use the heart at the bottom to recover health if need be. Alright, I'm getting there, don't worry, I'm getting there. There's the star, and yes, you do have to jump at it from the side, and then you fall to the bottom safely. All you have to do is jump right straight off the middle of the platform and you'll end up getting the star. Alright, next star is what some people consider to be the hardest star in the game. And I wonder if I should stop time to do this star because I would like to get the red coin. So maybe that's what I'll do and I'll show you how to get, how to navigate through this clock. Um, without having any movement whatsoever. And you'll notice that I, I like to kill the bombs like right off the bat when I did the red coin star because the, um, um, stop it! <laughs> because the, um, they might get in the way and they might push you off the edge. And, okay, just make sure you get the stuff in the boxes. The, the coins in the boxes are probably some of the more uh, valuable incomes, so to speak, of this place because they contain so many coins. So do not miss oh shoot miss coins in boxes if you can help it and also collect all the coins you can as you go up because you really don't want to jump back down to get more coins in this stage you want to do everything as you go and at, le at least that's in my opinion you might have another route through the stage but this is this is how I recommend doing it Siri stop wall kicking off the side of the thin platform Mario I did not tell you to wall kick off the platform. <laughs> well, uh, what I'm doing is that I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna grab onto the edge of one of these things and then just pull myself up immediately by pressing the A button, but what's happening is that I don't, and yeah, uh, and I end up wall kicking off the edge as a result of me pressing the A button with that timing. No, I'm not gonna get that star, obviously, because I already got it. I just wanted to get the red coins for the sake of grabbing coins. Um, I should, probably should just start from the bottom and work up. I don't really think... There's that many coins down this route, though. I could be wrong, though. I'm just gonna go take a gander around. Like, that box might have coins, but I personally don't think it doesn't. And now... Oh! Hello. This might be worth it. Kind of. By the way, I, I did that on the edge, because when you backflip, you move back from where you started. So, yeah. Oh, lots of coins. Okay, I'm glad I took this path. <laughs> uh, whenever you hit a box and coins will come out of it. What you want to do is like hit the box and immediately jump off the ground stationary underneath it and then you'll be able to collect the majority of the coins that come out of it. And then if you somehow miss a straggler or two, you can sometimes have enough time to grab it. But it's just a thing of that you don't want to miss too many coins along the way just in case. Yeah, see that? See how well that works? Okay. I think you got the idea of collecting coins with the timing. Right, so I really don't like one of the wall kicks that are coming up here, but it's it's probably better to do the 100 coin star with um, the mechanics stopped for the sake of safety. Oh. Uh, I know you, I know you can grab onto that. I've done it before. Thank you. <laughs> All right, just carefully make your way up. There is a. L rather large bushel of coins coming up here. Well, maybe not. Uh, uh, oh shoot, heave hole. No, stop moving. Run out of juice. Thank you. Uh, that was kind of close, actually. I'd rather not be thrown around by a heave hole when I'm up here. That's kind of the point of their uh, shenanigans, though. Oh, camera. Why? Why must you betray me? I need. I need to get over there for coinages. There's a blue coin block over there that you can't see from this angle. Okay. And then the blue coins appear on this platform right here. I was a little nervous there. My, <laughs> I got butterflies, but okay. What you want to do is get on the block, turn around, get the camera flipped. Run, 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 run. Don't want to miss these coins. No, 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 okay. <laughs> 82 now. You get 35 out of those blue coins alone, and oh god. That... Oh... It's terribly in my way. Like, in the angle of the camera. Oh! <laughs> 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 
Alright, now for the wall kick that I don't like. Um, well, it's not... Oops! Whoa, 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 whoa! It's not that. It's off of that platform, though. It's... You gotta get on top of this platform. And then... Uh, I wonder if I can zoom the camera out so you can see. Okay, see that in the corner of the screen there? That is a part of a triangle. And I've got to wall kick off this to nail it. Oh, I do not like this at all! Because you can't, like... Oh! Maybe I should switch my angle around. That's the triangle I'm aiming for here. Okay, so it's... I got a wall kick at a slight angle to the right. Jeez! As you can tell, this jump makes me very fidgety. <laughs> but I only have to do it once. Not good at it, but I only have to do it once. Mm. Mm. <sighs> can I just, like, do it with one wall kick? I don't think I can do that. I mean, just, like, with one jump. I'm so hesitant. Yeah. Ah, and I had the grip on the wall too, because when he, when he slams his face in the wall like that and just immediately drops. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! When he does that, um, he gets the grip on the wall, and that means he can do a wall kick off of it. Well, I'll see you back up at the top. Cover the health, just in case you fall again. This jump. My hands are sweaty. Just gotta do it. Gotta do it right. Just once. Yes! That's the jump, and it really is that precise of a jump. Um, I don't think there's anything over there, in all honesty. Um, just trying to think here, because I know there's a, a coin box on top of that cage, which is relatively safe to get on top of, so I should be okay getting there and back. Okay. So, here we go! Okay, stand on in the middle, jump right immediately, there we go. Oh... I really should do this the safe way. <laughs> this is... it's... I'm getting very nervous here. This is one of the harder stars in the game, but I don't think it is the hardest, in my opinion. You'd already know which one I think is the hardest. Wing Mario, or Mario, the no, wings to the sky or something like that, or Wing Mario over the rainbow. Okay. Alrighty. I think I can let's see that jump height. Okay, yeah, I definitely have plenty of double jump there. So I'm going to angle it like that. And... Okay, these don't move, so I can just nudge my way past them because the opening to the cage is on the other side. Thank you for not moving, because I know that could be a problem if they were moving. 95! Oh boy! <laughs> Do not fall, PK Gam. Do not fall. A coin box is coming up, and I think it is the last one you need. Five coins, please. Three coins, really now. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna play with my emotions like that. Alright, just one jump at a time. Just, these are much, much easier and they're not moving, obviously. Okay. Oh, maybe I should have grabbed that coin box on my way up here. I know there's another one coming up though, so I don't like its positioning with that flame orb. <laughs> got it! Got it! Got the 100 coin star. Yeah! 
Yes, I would like to save. And I am very pleased with that. <laughs> so very happy. Alright. And now, you know, I'm just gonna suicide. I'm gonna show you. I can't even suicide, really. Oh, there's a bunch of coins here, too. That's nice. But what's in this box? As long as I'm doing risky stuff. Oh, that's a one up. So that one did have uh, one up. Um, what did. Um, I'm saying um a lot here because I'm, I'm still on edge after that star. Uh, probably less on edge than Wing Mar or Mario Wings Over the Rainbow or something like that, though. I'm looking for that one with the three pistons. Uh, look at that, the, the screws are floating floating in midair because the platforms don't spawn around it. Uh, yeah, like where is that other one? I'm just exploring this level for the fun of it now, whether I die or not. I just want to see if there's anything past those three pistons, but I think I'm, I'm too high up at this point. So I'm just gonna... Uh, oh, jeez, I dropped way too far down. Ah, oh, that's fine, whatever. <laughs> I was gonna suicide anyway. That's about uh, all there is to the level. Now, I'm gonna show you what it's like to be in the clock at different speeds, like this. Ah, oh, I think I missed a six. Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna pick anything, I guess. Uh, let's see, is it moving at random speeds? I don't think. Oh, it is moving, I think. Yep, it's moving at random speed, so I did get it right. Look at the treadmill. <laughs> it liter it quite lit literally tries to throw you off like that. All you have to do to, to navigate the place when it's like this, though, is to watch the speed of things and still jump past things despite their unpredictability. Because eventually, eventually things will be timed in your favor, and that's what you're aiming for here, to navigate the place. See what- Whoa! See what I'm doing there? Is that I'm jumping off the blocks to manipulate t the timing, and this piston don't know it's gonna when it's gonna move forward, but it's gonna move forward eventually. These platforms are are also reversing direction. Uh, this this might be one of the ones that uh, one of the types of speed that makes it plausible to get the red coins decently because you can manipulate their position. Well, not manipulate their positions, but I mean. Um, just keep trying until you get the platforms in the right spots. And there's the the hand moving at different speeds, and <laughs> it's just ridiculous like this. But it's it's not too bad if you if you hit get the hang of the platforming in this place in general. Uh, I I think you get the idea of how this place is now for that. So suicide time, because I'm gonna show you number nine now to finish off this part. I'll wait for the minute hand. Boop. Perfect. And we're gonna see it at super high speed. Let's see how well I can navigate it now. Look at that pendulum go. <laughs> wait, is it moving faster? I think it's moving a little faster. Uh, this is definitely moving fast. Is it? Oh! Okay, th things are definitely moving faster. <laughs> Threw me off a little bit. Yeah, it's. Okay, one more try in that. I know I'm burning lives, but come on now, this is just for fun here. <laughs> just want to demonstrate the, the different kinds of tick-tock clock here. Let's see how far I can get this time. Let's see if I can actually get to that roll into the cage star. Maybe. I'm not, not gonna obsess over it or anything like that. If I don't get it, so this is just to show you the ways to get around the clock via the different timing. And yes, even those uh, those triangle platforms are moving a lot faster than they normally would be. And you know how tricky those triangle platforms are. Alright, I'm getting there. I am getting there! <laughs> no problem, even at this speed. I, I, I really like the random speed one where everything is like reversing direction here. That's just silly. <laughs> And there's this, the roll into the cage star. Shouldn't be too difficult to platform to. Yep. And remember, if you collect uh, a Shadow Art Shadow Art Star, it won't go to your total. This is just for the sake of uh, showing you the high speed clock. All right. With that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I start the final world of the game.